The planet-sized station known as the Crucible was the flagship of the new Dalek Empire. The Supreme Dalek was created and locked Davros and Khan inside the vault while guarded by Vault Daleks. The new fully formed Empire transported 27 planets to the Medusa Cascade and took control over the planets. In their attack on Earth, they took many humans aboard their ships, and wiped out any resistance that they met. TV. The Stolen Earth. During the Dalek invasion, a Dalek was observed by a young Adelaide Brooke as it passed by her house. This Dalek spared her life, flying off to space. This inspired her to go to space, not for revenge, but to explore. The Tenth Doctor believed it recognized her as a fixed point in time. TV. The Waters of Mars. The New Empire planned to use the 27 planets in conjunction with the Crucible's energy source to power a reality bomb created by Davros who intend to make the destruction of all existence and allow the Daleks to be the sole inhabitants and masters of the universe. The Supreme Dalek made an arrangement with Davros. The creator of the Daleks would ensure their domination of the universe if they allowed him to live. The plan failed by the interference of the Dr. Donna who closed off all of the Z-neutrino energy relay loops of the reality bomb by using an internalized synchronous backfeed reversal loop, locked the Dalek's weaponry in a self-replicating energy blindfold matrix through macro transmission of AK filter wavelength and interfered with the Dalek's systems with a trip-stitch circuit breaker in the psychokinetic threshold manipulator. Deciding the Dalek Empire was a threat too great for the universe, the Metacrisis 10th Doctor maximized the Dalekinium power feeds and blasted them back, executing every Dalek around them and destroying the entire fleet. The destruction of the Void by the Reality Bomb, which through Donna and the Metacrisis Doctor's interference, was reversed through dimensional retroclosure, TV, Journey's End, though the Daleks who were sucked into the Void would still be destroyed, with only a handful of Cybermen being able to escape with stolen Dalek technology like the Dimension Vault. TV, The Next Doctor, Rose Tyler claimed that, even the Void was dead, TV, Journey's End while the Tenth Doctor said that a greater battle than the one that locked the Daleks and Cybermen into the Void rose up, which was so great that everything inside the Void perished. TV. The Next Doctor. 